Well, I guess I may as well be calm. Are the comms actually even working? I'm gonna be waiting a while for my match, I think, because I think... Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if they can hear you. I don't even know if they can hear me, to be honest. Um... Yeah, sure, if you want to. Hello, everyone. I'm Loxer. I'm commentating. Okay, I think, I think yeah. we're good. I think we can hear you. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Thank you, Andy. Okay, good. Thank we got Andy. No problem. All right, we have RVA being represented by Yogg or Granola. Anyone else knows him? Let's go. He's in a crazy losers run right now. After losing round one, he's just torn through everything. <laughs> Who did he lose to? Was he just like unseated? Uh, they seated everyone from RVA horribly. I was 0-2. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Who did he lose to? You know, I can check in bracket. Um, who he lost to? I'm kind I, of interested if he made me. I got no two who he lost to. Can you check? Okay, let's see. Going in, he's doing some excellent spacing. He's already taken a good stock with all of his ledge trapping tools. It's actually crazy how good he's improved. Yeah, I'm very interested to see this, actually. I feel like Snake is one of those good characters that Belmont actually does pretty good against, all things considered. That was an excellent space. CEO. Yeah. yeah. Belmont's space... Really You're completely correct. His spacing is excellent, and Belmont's tools just completely help him out with that. Uh, Yogg lost two mil slots. Because Nick, Nick told me right after that he thought that that Belmont was pretty good. Yeah. So. Don't know who that guy is, but I'm sure he's pretty good. No um, yeah. He's gotten a lot better recently. Yeah. He but. might be PR this season. Ooh. Uh, which would be exciting for me, personally, as I always struggle with beating him. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's enough about that. Yeah, yogg has got a pretty sizable lead here. It's nothing Snake can't overcome, especially if he's able to get like some air edge guard or something. But uh, again, like I, I just think that if you're if you're a character that has to give Belmont a lot of space, apparently like Snake kind of has to, this matchup can actually become a lot harder. That's completely correct. But right now we need to go see the classic uh, Granola edge guarding moments, where he just keeps the opponent stage and they cannot get off. I love I love good edge guarding, good edge trapping. It's probably my favorite aspect of the well, game. You'll be in a treat for tonight then. <laughs> I also wonder if Jabari might go Cloud because of the snake that's in game one. I know he was playing mostly Cloud today. I do I'm not, not sure know. How he feels. Ooh. Oh, good catch on there. Excellent. Okay. That was, that really was some. Smart. The C4 I'm seeing here is that Jamoto is excellent at these C4s. He's covering a lot of options here. Right, there we go. Classic. Completely even on Smashville. This is a small stage with a ton of projectiles. You're not going to see anything. Alright, alright, alright. That was an interesting string of. Uh, an interesting string. Yeah, this is like dead even. This is really interesting actually. Okay, oh, he does not get punished for the uppie. The uppie is invincible in his very early frame, so it's a good counter for Snake. Yeah, makes total sense. Oh, the grenade saves him from that. I feel like if these percents, based on how well, the match has been going, Jamoto is going to have an easier time closing it out. We'll see. If he's able to land one of those smash attacks, that could be yeah, It really just depends. Right now, they're trying to play the other's game. It depends on who's able to do it first. Yeah, completely makes sense. All right. So oh, we got ledge guarding here. All right, really good recovery there. Excellent. Good wait on the feather. That was, oh, that was that so was... smart. God, Jabari is so smart sometimes. Dang, he learned from the uppies and started to adapt to it. That's right, I think he's All right. Hello, everyone in chat. I see you, Grantly. All right. So some previous things. Oh, he's leaving. He's had it. He can't take the game anymore. <laughs> he's out. He's out. He's out. <laughs> Okay. That was a really good closer, though. Going for just the first hit of the F tilt, baiting out the up, the outer shield, and then killing off of it. That was so good. I really loved that ending. I did like that, too. Funny how, after all the projectiles, there's just a leg that beat him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sometimes, okay. you you know, you gotta bring a, 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 a limb to a sword fight, you know? Bring Absolutely. A a fight. CFP! Adam better win. Yeah. Should I tell for him that to give him extra anxiety? Uh, no, Put don't do that. He does better when you say that he's awful. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so like, criticize him. Okay. Alright, so just a quick recap. Adam has just come off getting third place yesterday at uh, the JMU local, beaten by yours truly. Woo! Yep, it's really crazy seeing him get this far in Virginia Tech, representing Harrisonburg and RVA very well. We got some, we got some RVA lovers here for sure, because we got J-Dash. Yep. Right. I, I hope we get more crossover with RVA sometime soon. You will eventually. That's good to hear. Yep. I've been looking forward to playing some of those things. 
All right, going into a game two, I see we got the same lineup going. I feel like the adaptations both players were making to each other throughout that last game. They went to the biggest stage now after Smashville, so I can clearly see they're trying to go space it out. At it least is Adam is. I mean, you know, obviously the end of that game was determined by J-Moto making the right decision in kind of an up-close scramble situation. I can definitely see wanting to have a larger stage in order to get more Belmont to get started. That axe could be very helpful, because it breaks right through, uh, was it the drone? Yeah, Axe feels like it could be a great tool in this matchup, especially if you're able to pin down the snake's recovery habit. The slow recovery is not going to work out if that... The Axe is so slow, but so powerful. Yeah. It goes through anything. Oh! Tomato going high. Excellent way to avoid the Axe. There's back throw, set up the edge guard situation. Oh, great. he gets attack! Alright. Oh. Good navigation there as well. Good play. Right? No need for J Moto. Definitely any kind of uh, movement call out with a strong enough two spot move can definitely seal the stuck out from here. Just on J Moto to be evasive enough to avoid it. Absolutely. Okay, gets a high recovery. Goes back to the ledge. Ooh, that was really good. Excellent. Ooh, does not get the confirm. Uh, Great, good takes the old tilt.